It was a dark and stormy night in Australia. Thunder echoed throughout a small home as a young Asian boy sat at his computer, staring at the 2009 YouTube sign-up screen. He yells out, Kev, can I please make a YouTube account? Kevin yelled out, Yeah, sure, whatever. No, okay. Then, with a glint in his eye, he typed out the cursed words in the enter your username box. Super Mario Glitchy 4. And with that, right before his eyes, the young boy summoned a cursed decade full of memes and naked Mario videos for all the world to see. And boy, he never regretted doing that. If I could describe SMG4, it's if you got Mario and dropped in into a barrel of acid. Then he comes calling out it as his demented monster constantly humping spaghetti. It's really a, a magical channel, I guess you could put it. But one may ask, Luke, why is Mario and this whole universe so dumb and stupid? And how did this even all start? Well, young ones, it all started back when I first made my channel. I don't think I've told anyone this, but there's more than just me getting inspiration from just Mario Machinima channels. I was interested in other stuff before coming to do Mario videos. That's why the SMG4 channel was created in 2009, but my first Machinima video started in 2011. So without further ado, put on your Mario mustaches and your, uh, your Mario spaghetti bowls, I guess, and let's travel back to before SMG4 was created. So it all started. Super Smash Brothers Brawl, actually. I bet none of you would have guessed that. So there we were. Kevin and I were just duking it out on the map Elden Bridge, and everything seemed fine. Kevin was Jigglypuff, and I was... Uh, uh, look, I can't remember everything, okay? In the Elden Bridge map, there's this part where the bridge gets destroyed by this asshole over here, but then Jesus comes down and decides to heal the bridge. At the time, Kevin had a Smash Ball, and what he did was... He used his final Smash, which caused Jigglypuff to go really huge, but the thing was, he was in the area where the bridge was being healed. So, the final smash cancelled. But Jigglypuff kept its size, and I was like, Yo! What the hell? Then Kevin turned to me and said, My boy, that is what we call a glitch. <laughs> right there and then, my mind was blown. Because I thought he was using some kind of voodoo magic. At this point, I've never seen a glitch in my life, and the very fact that you could make a game do something so outrageous was on the same level as... I don't know, breaking the physics of the universe, I guess. So I ran over to my computer and began typing away and looking into these things called glitches. I went from game to game, looking at all these fascinating things you can do. Then one day, I was playing Super Mario Sunshine by myself, and I managed to find glitches on my own without any internet help, such as pulling this uh, tentacle arm to here, and look, it freaks out. Look, look how cool that is. You know, I, I thought that was pretty cool. And then I found other glitches, like being able to fall through specific points in maps and stuff like that. Then I was like, you know what? I'm gonna make a video about glitches. Dear God. I mean, there was some at the time on YouTube, but I figured I would contribute and bring in my own glitches. And it also may explain why I had Super Mario Glitchy 4, because, you know, I was doing glitches, I think. I can't, I can't 100% remember. Anyways, I got myself a Kevin and we went to work creating this video. Now with my 10,000 IQ knowledge about making videos at the time, we got this really old camcorder and pointed it at the TV screen. You like my setup? I know you do. But seriously, I wish I could find this video, but uh, young me deleted it. Thanks, Luke. It was a straight up recording of a TV screen. It was shaky as hell and you could hear Dora the Explorer in the background because our little brother loved to watch it. So you could hear the big red chicken going Wah! as we tried to record these crappy glitches of mine. And of course, with the finest of videos, deserves to be edited on the finest video editing software. And finally, we had created a masterpiece. I myself was really proud of this when I first made it. I remember just feeling, damn, it's so beautiful. <laughs> it's the, way, the best thing I've ever made. <laughs> so we uploaded the video proudly to YouTube and released it. And you know, it didn't do too bad, I must say. And when I got my first comment, I was like, senpai's noticed me. <laughs> I don't know what that was. Uh, with that, my career was set as a guy who would research and find glitches. But then I found out finding glitches was actually very hard and I got very lazy. Yeah, it didn't really last that long. Afterwards, we uploaded a Super Smash Brothers photo reel since I loved pausing a Smash game every two seconds and getting a dumb photo. That was fun. But the idea of being a channel that only revolved around that is, you know, didn't please me. It was only until Kevin 
yes Kevin again, introduced me to a magical kind of video on YouTube called Mario Bloopers. Yeah, in 2010 I saw these kind of videos for the first time and I was intrigued. Simple Mario adventures where it's just a recording of a screen, the hypercam, the mouse, the intro cards, it's all so nostalgic. Of course as you know Mega Man 765, MM54321, Matthew GU4 and many others were the ones I watched over and over again when I was young. Many people today are even reminiscent over these videos and I am much the same. The stories were so simple like Mario clones, Mario jumping over Peach's castle, Ella's rule, it was all such a unique concept at the time. I really wanted to do all of this and you know what, I didn't think it looked too hard. So I went to download the emulator and start thinking of ideas. My style of videos back then was 10 times more simpler because of the software I was using. I could only use text and you know cool look and transitions, so that's about it. So I had to rely on a lot of text based jokes. It was basically me trying to convey jokes through Mario for like 5 minutes. But before we get into that, I need to address the very first video. I mean, what the heck went wrong here? If you're unsure of what I mean, the very first video I made was called The Cake is Alive. The plot's very convoluted, so here's a quick video recount. Hello boss, can I have a pizza please? No! Yeah. Ah! Uh, yeah. And the final resolution of the video was a teensy weensy little tiny box for some reason. Look, I was using a program called AVS Video Editor to edit, but it had this stupid ass watermark when you rendered it in the dead center of the screen. I only realized that after I edited the whole video. So you know what I did? I used the screen recording program called Debut Video Recorder, which by the way caused an annoying ass at the beginning of recording since it was a trial version. And so what I did was I recorded my edited video off the editing program and that's probably what caused the audio to echo and be really delayed and you know ta -da, that's how i made my first video it's the worst thing to ever exist in this universe but it started off a career to say the least from then on i used the program called nch video pad which had that stupid text you see on screen here and i went off making vids you know a lot of my stories and jokes were centered around cheat codes used on emulators such as making the world go all glitchy making mario huge or freezing everyone in the game except mario from there it was just making stupid ass comments and insulting Mario about being fat. So then, you know, I heard about this magical program called Sony Vegas, which allowed me to do stuff like green screen and other effects, like not shitty text. Wow. I mean, Sony Vegas text is pretty outdated today, but hey, what are you gonna do? So I began doing specific shots in Vegas and then exporting it to my really crappy software. I don't know why I did that, but you know, that's what I did. And I did things such as rain, transparent images, more Mario. So if you want what Bowser dancing with a sombrero while Peach is spinning around in a cage, you got it. Boom. And then I actually gained some IQ and was like, you know what? I'm gonna move to Sony Vegas full time. And then the next evolution of SMV4 came. Kevin and his friends were playing this weird looking game called Gary's Mod. It was this game where you could do whatever you want. You can shoot people, you can ride cars, you can spawn things, you can hump things. Do whatever you want. It was only when I got to Sedmon 1 when I started shifting to more wacky humor we all know today. I loved Gmod videos such as Gmod Idiot Box or Team Fabulous 2, and I appreciated how quick and sudden the humor styles were. And Sedmon allowed me to do that. So, with Gary's mod allowing Mario to do a lot more things, and with Sony Vegas giving me more options with editing, this helped encourage me to go all out on my dumb jokes and go above and beyond just the standard text on a video game capture type of video. That's why series like R64 or videos like 99.5% Crazy were such huge hits, and why they helped mold and build SMG4 to the way it is today. Mario really became that bridge to show how far I can go with my stupid humor. And he stuck as that one character that likes to be naked and eat a lot of spaghetti. And my uploads were consistent because I was scared fans would get angry at me. <laughs> From then on, the path of SMG4 was set. It was that one channel where Mario acted like a complete dumbass. And you know what? I'm grateful that I could make it so far with a dumb concept like this. And I know a lot has changed since then. People grow up, you know, and what they want to make changes. I want to see improvement and growth on this channel. That's why I strive to push the limits of what we can do. And I want to thank all of you for understanding that. Hope you guys found that story interesting. SMG4 definitely started from humble beginnings of just a boy who wanted to make glitches to a boy who wanted to bring memes into the world. If you guys want to hear more stories like this, comment below. I love making these videos and I'm glad you guys are enjoying these too. I'll see you guys next time.